What's going on boys and girls? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaia. Last time we started the 24 hour maid surveillance or whatever where we literally just sat in Sachi's room and watched her live her life. Not joking, that's actually what happened. So I guess we're going to be continuing that. I think we are coming to the end of the night. Not sure if something is going to happen. Thought something was going to happen last time. Nothing did. So maybe something will happen this time. So hope you guys enjoyed this session. Not sure if it's going to be a 30 minute session or an hour session. I guess we'll find out. But I hope you guys enjoy what this session will hold. If you enjoy these episodes in this session or any of these episodes at all, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and let's get right into the Fruit of Grisaia. Alright, I understand that much, but what made you think I was feeling relieved? Alright, right off the bat, pretty sure Yuji does not smile. And by the way guys, I forgot to say this in the beginning of the last session, I said at the end of the last session, but I am feeling a lot better. Uh, if anything, it was just a cold, but it really does, you know, prevent me from recordings, from streaming, from doing really anything for you guys. So I apologize, but I seem to be doing a lot better. Uh, if anything, just like, you know, a little like, I, I don't even know what you call it. I'm not 100%, but I'm almost 100%. So thank you so much. I know there are actually quite a few people who uh, hope that I got better very fast, and uh, I thank you guys. Just Thank you very much for all the support in general. Smiling. <coughs> I don't remember grinning to myself during that little internal monologue. If anything, the look on my face should have been something like surprise. But apparently something about my face suggested a smile to her. I see. I was right about one thing. You really are an interesting one, Sachi. You bet your ass it is. I'll let you decide how to interpret it, but at the very least, it's better than boring, right? Sachi said relieving my anxiety would make her happy. I'm not sure I understand the exact meaning of those words, but looking back on it, the visit did inspire a mysterious sense of tranquility. Whatever the details, I don't think that can be a bad thing. Well, I guess I've confirmed the mechanics of your free time policy, but before we wrap up things, let's make arrangements to clear up the other matter as well. I, I don't know. Yeah, we were going to see how difficult a question it takes to stump you, right? Or remember? Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, so we might as well take care of that fairly soon. What's your schedule like? Does that mean you won't be heading home for the break? So she, she'll just literally stay here for the summer break? And wait a minute, summer is like almost over in America terms, like pretty much uh, almost the end of July in the game that is, I'm not talking about real life. Um, I know school starts pretty early in August. For schools in my area, so how, like, how long is a summer vacation for these people here in the Japan area? Hmm. I guess a slightly less in intimate connection with home might not be too surprising when you're living with a less immediate relative. Okay, so how about starting right off the bat the day after tomorrow? That work for you? Alright then. We'll assemble in the classroom at 1 p.m. two days from now. Can we actually get into our classrooms? Right. More like just a plan, but okay. Well, I guess you could put it that way. Yeah, sure. That's settled. I won't keep you from your sleep any longer. Have a good rest. Um... What? Thanks anyway, but that's not going to be necessary. I still haven't overcome the constant unease I feel toward myself, or my doubts about my lax new life in this place. But I have learned something new in the last few days. There's someone else like me here. For some reason, I feel like this objectively pointless little quiz game I've been entrusted with is going to yield interesting results. 
Not that I have any concrete reason to believe that, but it's not an unpleasant feeling. By the time I reach my room, I'm almost looking forward to it. God damn it. Why would I do that? Fucking Amane, dude. She's gonna pretend to be our big sister for the rest of this. Alright, alright, alright. The 24th. Not sure if we were on the 23rd. But it is almost 1 p.m., which could mean that we are going to be going for, like, you know, like, summer is here. School is done. It is time. And it's not even morning. What the fuck? I enter the classroom a little before the time we agreed to meet. Okay, so it's summer vacation. We are done with school. Sachi's already waiting inside. Well, yeah, we did have a promise. Anyway, you came in uniform. Really are a class rep to the core, aren't you? That's a little strange, actually. I see. I'm pretty sure Sachi's the only one who's ever bothered to read the fine print at the back of that booklet. But fair enough. One, not fashionable personality, not even a good personality at that. And, uh, two, dyed hair is a no-go. Please don't do it ever. Not like Michiru, at least. To be honest, I'm having a hard time picturing you as a bleach blonde sandere. <coughs> oh, that'd actually be lovely. I'll leave that to your discretion. Anyway, I guess the first question is, how should we go about testing you? What? Please give me a coherent explanation of how you arrived at that conclusion. すみません。年下の女の子と2人きりという状況をかざみさんが意識されているのではないかと思い、私なりに場を和ませてみたのですが。how would that break the ice? If anything, that'd just make things way more awkward. I appreciate the thought, but your jokes tend to have the opposite effect. Things have already taken a dubious turn, but there's no going back now. Alright, I guess I'll choose some questions from material. We'll probably be learning in the fall. Feel like starting with any subject in particular? Mathematics, my favorite subject, you know, behind cancer. I see. In that case, let's start with math and see how far you can go on a day's worth of studying. Alright, here we go, boys. Alright, next up is a square root problem. Oh, wow. Wow, this is the toughest shit I think I've ever seen. Think you can handle it? What the fuck? Correct. As soon as I start actually offering her problems, I'm startled all over again by Sachi's academic skills. All the questions I'm giving her are from sections of the textbook we haven't learned in class yet, and she's solving them with apparent ease. That doesn't change when I start mixing in my own original problems either, so it's clear that she didn't just mindlessly memorize the textbook. So, what did you study this yesterday? Wait, so what? Did you study this yesterday as well? That's a weirdly uh, organized sentence. Just how much did you get through? I want to say that's impossible, but I think I've seen people, IRL, literally in high school with me, who could literally just look at something and be like, oh, oh, yep, yeah. next page, oh. Yep, and literally get through the fucking textbook in a few days. Sachi delivers this line with her usual calm smile, but 
If what she's saying is true, she mastered nearly an entire year's worth of material in a single day. That's what I'm saying. I've literally seen people that could do that shit. I guess that would explain how she's been answering problems we won't be looking at for months so easily. Just for reference, what time did you get to bed last night? Oh, lovely. You pulled an all-nighter. Plausible in Sachi's case, but I've got one very simple question. Why did you feel the need to try that hard? I would suppose so. Sure, but that's hardly a reason to stay up all night. In an admirable display of dexter dexterity, Sachi tilts her head to the side in confusion even as she's nodding her consent. I had similar thoughts about her ridiculous daily preparation for class, but this one only confirms my impression. The girl puts an unbelievable effort, for the flimsiest of reasons. True, you can wrap everything up by just calling Sachi diligent by nature, but I have a feeling that behavior has something to do with why she's in this school in the first place. Well, whatever the case, I have to admit you've taken me by surprise. I didn't expect you to be quite this impressive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the range of problems you've solved already would be more than enough to amaze the others. <coughs> I would say so. Hmm. Michiru and company asked me to find Sachi's limits. As long as she's continuing to answer the questions correctly, it'd be premature to end this testing. Well, as long as it's alright with you, mind playing along a little longer? These sexual innuendos, they come so early in these sessions. Are you doing this on purpose? By the time the sun touched the horizon, Saji had worked her way into questions from next year's math curriculum without a single mistake, and so we agreed to suspend testing for the evening and continue tomorrow. Well, golly, that was fast as fuck. What a quick little chapter. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> some weird uh, dialogue for running. When I return to the school grounds after my daily running session, Sachi greets me with broom in hand. Sweeping the courtyard today, I see. Yeah, I would not do that without pay. Not that diligence is a bad thing, but it feels like you're in the middle of some chore every time I run into you. She doesn't have free time. How could she know what slacking off is? Are you really capable of that? Three months and then fucking summer vacation will be over. In that case, I think I'd rather see you working hard like always. <clears throat> Ooh. Trotting over to a bucket full of ice sitting in the shade of a tree, Sachi receives a bottle of water and brings it back to me. Wow, holy shit. You had this waiting for me? Ladies and gentlemen, is she not waifu material? Holy shit. That is incredible stuff coming from Sachi. I see. Thanks. I appreciate that. With a few words of thanks, I accept the plastic bottle from Sachi, then drop myself onto a nearby bench and quick quickly gulp it down. Pretty sure you don't want to do that with cold water. I remember learning something back when I was in cross country my freshman year of high school. Not supposed to do that with cold water. Could do something to you, but I don't exactly remember what. And you also don't want to sit down directly after you run because something. I don't I don't really remember the details, I just remember these rules. Tasty. It looked like a plain bottle of water, but there's a bit of lemon juice and honey flavored or added for flavor. Another thoughtful touch on Sachi's part. Typical that the girl didn't say anything about the extra effort she put in. Why not mention it? Might have gotten some of that praise she likes so much. Considering her request for compliments, Sachi doesn't exactly flaunt her accomplishments. Then again, that clumsy, selfless side of her personality is probably part of what makes her impossible to dislike. <laughs> 